Scram. All right, I'm so Zach, I know you did the homework. Tell me about Joe C.L. Silva. What's this guy bring to the table? To be honest, this is like a throwback to like my early days of fighting where there's really not much footage that I can find. I ha I've only seen his most recent fight. It's about three minutes of footage. That is, that's it. You know, otherwise I can just see his record. And uh, that's, that's pretty much all I've seen. I, I think he has a brown belt in jiu-jitsu, but most of his wins are uh, by TKO. The footage I've seen, he looks more like a like a pretty good uh, striker. Nothing crazy, pretty basic, but, uh -huh. but solid fundamentals. Um, you know, it doesn't have. He's seven and one. I'm not sure he's ever fought outside Brazil. So uh, definitely like a younger prospect type of guy. It does but look honestly, like this is, this is probably this is probably the least I know about an opponent right. for, for for a long, long time. Does so. that make you nervous, or are you okay with that? Uh, I'm okay with it. I mean, I, I do like to have information. I think the more information you have, the better prepared you can be. But, you know, what, what are you going to do? Zach, what it was it about ACB where they were able to get your attention and get you to sign on to fight with them? And is it a one-fight deal or is it a multiple-fight deal? I have a three-fight deal. Okay. Um, I, I, we were just negotiating with uh, a bunch of different shows. Um the the main ones that we got the best offers were from were uh, ACB, uh, Fight Night Global, and Ryzen. Mm -hmm. But uh, ACB was really kind of pushing. It really seemed like they wanted me to be a part of their organization, and uh, you know they made the best offer. So uh, it wasn't wasn't a difficult decision. And since I think they've added a lot of talent to their to their roster mm -hmm. you know, across uh, every weight class, but definitely in the flyweight division too. So. Um, it's looking good. I know they just uh, signed up to do another event in California, I think in July. Oh, very cool. So, looks good. Yeah. Now, aside from money, what, was there anything else uh, that they said or offered that, that caught your attention? Um, I think, I mean, it was definitely mostly the, the, the financial uh, implications, but... But it's, it definitely seemed like they wanted to bring me in to be one of uh, one of the main guys uh, under their roster. Whereas I felt like Fight Night Global wanted me to come in and fight Bogatinov right away, or maybe try to build up some of their uh, their younger guys. Um, uh, Ryzen, I think, was trying to push to, for a fight with me and uh, Hiroguchi. Mm -hmm. uh, which which would have been great. I would love to fight Hiroguchi sometime. Yeah. But uh, I felt like they were try trying to bring me in to maybe set up a good situation for, for their guys. Whereas, I don't know, a ACB just felt like they really wanted me to be a part of their roster and potentially uh, one of their champion. And, and, and it showed in the offer, you know. Very cool. They, 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 were, they, were, uh, you know, they had to counter each other with offers and stuff. And, you know, ACB obviously wanted me more than the rest, so. Yeah, no, that's cool to hear. All right, awesome. Well, we can't wait till Saturday. We'll be checking it out. It's ACB 60, J uh, Zach Makoski versus Josiel Silva, uh, part of that fight card. And Zach, safe travels to Austria. It's Vienna, Austria, where you're getting down. And uh, hopefully we can have you back on the show. But thanks for giving us some time on Fight Week. Anytime. Thank you for having me. All right. Always a pleasure. Take care. We'll see you. MMA Junkie Radio. MMA Junkie Radio. MMA Junkie Radio.